got a Flagstaff 29 BDS. <laughs> Is when you have sleepovers, it gets crowded. On my way to the back. Oh, Mason's up. Yeah, stupid cats. Stupid cats. go inside every RV tour that we've got for you guys we've said oh we're gonna wait and show you when we get things organized and we do this and we do that well in actuality with five people currently five pets living in a tiny space it's really not that easy to get organized and to have everything put away we can clean up an area and shoot a video there we can clean up an area, make it look super pretty, and take a picture and put it on Instagram. Well, living in a tiny space with this amount of people and everybody's clothes and everything like that, you're not going to have a clean living space all the time. So I told Michelle, who's holding the camera, let's just do the RV tour and show them what real life RV living looks like because it's not gonna be Instagram friendly all the time. So let's head inside. Welcome to the inside of our camper. Um, like Blake said, we have a Flagstaff Superlight 29 BDS. And uh, let's show you around a little bit why we chose this model. We looked at uh, quite a few different ones, but we fell in love with this one, mostly me, um, because of the layout. You walk in here and you come into the dining slash entertainment um, area. We haven't really eaten here as a family yet. We do really like the uh what would you get u-shaped dinette booth yes. um we think it can fit four people a lot more comfortable Wait, than the, the booth um if you I remember tight squeeze to come back here but still plenty enough room for us to sit around and you can pull the table out yeah the table well. the table moves it's on these collapsible legs because yes. then you can put the that down into a bed also Great. but um it can easily fit the four of us um, if not five. And we have the day and night shades. So we have the day shades and this folds down into a night shade. Which is nice. And then what's nice about these windows that Blake really likes is that you can have them open even while it's raining and the rain does not come in here. Not and the side like, windows, no, but the, yeah. the, the, the two, three on this side and then the one on the other side. And then we have a little overhead light up here which is really nice for at night you have the interior main lights that can turn on as well from the switch that i showed you on the control panel and then there's no organization whatsoever we just kind of threw everything in our cupboards so right now we don't have a spot for our containers and stuff like that so we just threw i threw them up here um until we kind of figure out if we want those things to go and that's the whole the whole process that we are trying to accomplish is get the stuff in here that we know we want. Great. Then organize and go through it and eliminate even more. So then we have our waste basket. Um, we weren't sure if we wanted a big one in here, but it kind of because it kind of takes up room, but it works for now. We have a little calendar because we need to get organized. Michelle's sister gave us that. Yes, thank you. Um, we haven't filled it out yet, but. We plan to. So this is our kitchen area. We haven't done. It's a long ways from the <laughs> dining room area. <laughs> yeah, we haven't done any cooking in here yet because we've been with family and friends eating and whatnot. But um, it's perfect for us for right now. We have a nice glass top stove again. Hopefully Maddie doesn't bust it. Um, you should go back to one of our videos. What was it called? Do you remember? I don't even we'll remember. We'll link it above. Uh, Maddie had shattered the glass 
trying to cook around Me? and it's quite funny. <laughs> anyway, um, just little blinds here, little window. Another um, window, like I said, that you can leave open when it's raining, which is nice. We decided to get this little canister for our spoons and spatulas to, to create space in a drawer. Um, we just bought a magic bullet mini because we want to make more smoothies from our hot water. Electric hot water <laughs> boiler <laughs> thing. Yep. Filled, dad, with, filled with Tootsie Rolls. My dad just gave us a bunch of Tootsie Rolls and had nowhere to put them, so. Um, this is a Hamilton Beach One Scoop. Tracy and Steve recommended this for coffee because we struggled on finding the right coffee pot that didn't take up a, a huge amount of space. This one makes one cup at a time, which is nice the if you just want one like cup. The only thing I about it is that this gets messy. You have to throw it in the trash and whatnot. Yep. Otherwise, I like it. It's not bad. She'd like a Keurig, but I absolutely hate Keurigs. Dip flowers, they were beautiful and live ones. My friend <laughs> Debbie gave them to me, but I can't throw them away yet. Um, so this is our microwave, it's nice and large. I do want to say something down here again. Oh, um, the stove, to us, yeah. I think it is a lot bigger than it used to be. I actually think we can fit a ham. Here, let me move this. A ham? <laughs> Yeah, a ham. I actually fit, think we can fit, fit a ham in the oven. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than the toy hauler one is. And it's bigger. not so awkward because in the toy hauler, we had to go underneath and light uh, the pilot to start our oven. This one, you don't. It's a electric ignite. Mm. Okay, now you can go back up. <laughs> so this is the only cover space that we have. Um, we have some plates, bowls. Um, we got our drink mixes back there, that kind of stuff, coffee cups, that's what we're kind of keeping in there. This is our only food cupboard, very, very messy. Um, very full. <laughs> it's mostly snacks right now. Like I said, it's just for something for the kids to grab on the here. And then this is our only space for our um, silverware. Don't know what we're going to use this for. Yeah, if you've got any good tips on what to put in this little thing, let us know in the comments below. Yeah. Um, towels, of course. And we just kind of threw stuff in here. Um, our sink swivels, which is nice. We always need that. That's a plus in an RV. You have to have one that swivels. Yes. And you need to have one that has a removable head. Yeah. I think most of them come that way now, but there's a few like the carbon we had that did not. I just got these from Target. They're little plastic things because this gets scratched to heck. Um, I also got one of these little strainer things which are coming in really handy. They're from the dollar store. Um, it just catches all those little items the kids can't, you know, the food items the kids don't scrape off. And that's been working really well. Let me show them our food. <laughs> Careful when you open that. <laughs> this is our freezer. It's not very big. Um, but the concept behind the fridge and freezer is that we're just going to meal plan for the week, maybe two weeks at a time. So we weren't, I mean, and there's still plenty of room. There really is a lot of room. It's just trying yeah. to figure out the best way and to, to con continue downsizing your selections of whether it's, you know, yeah. seasonings or the ketchup, tomato, <laughs> and Miracle Whip and mustard and... Yeah. You know, I think we realized the more space you have for our food, the more we wasted. We're just gonna try to minimize and you know meal plan for the week or two. Oh, right now we just got a bunch of food sitting out. All the cats are sleeping. <laughs> they're, so cute. they're getting big. If you haven't met them yet, this is Bear, Bubba, Garfield, and Sissy somewhere else. So under here is just kind of what we're we have for. We got our toaster down here. Captain, a must. <laughs> Some baking pans and I think we're only going to be using one pot maybe two so behind here we haven't even done anything she's standing on her tippy toes <laughs> um, my dad and Blake built this temporary shelf or whatever permanent shelf um, because if you can tell these things are like super super flimsy so we won't be able to put anything heavy wise in here so we wanted something that we could actually hold all of our you know, electronic equipment or camera gear. One thing we also did is for organization tip. I don't know if everybody else does this pretty obvious one, but we bought a couple of these on Amazon. 
got one for games and then we got one for movies so we don't have to lug around all the cases. So this trailer did come with a sound bar and a DVD, CD, Bluetooth, radio system. So it's all hooked up and runs through all of that. Um, but under here we have a huge storage area and I think we're gonna be using it for like our office supplies. We have our printer. I have a Cricut Explore Air way back under here, which I'm gonna be running my business from eventually. It was a model kit. Oh, a model kit. I got some essential oils and then I just got some empty boxes. These are great from the dollar store or whatever, then you can organize some of your items. And then, so this is our living area. It's quite small, uh, the Cougar. Um, we had the two seating areas, but we really like it because we have, you know, just enough seating. We have the couch, which the table also pulls out into the bed. We have some storage above here. I won't go deep into everything that we have, but this is just like some stuff if we are boondocking or if we are without power, it's lights, batteries, that kind of stuff. Maddie's junk. Maddie's plethora of cord pencils. This is kind of just a junk collector right now. And then I think here is gonna be like homeschool, reading materials, um, activities. We're just keeping our shoes here for now, our vacuum. And on this side, there, let me move this. Remember, we said this is a messy RV tour. So on this side is storage. We have to go through all of our games because I think I'm just gonna use this one for games. You know, activities when you're bored. Stuff. Five straight if you've never played five straight. This is one of our favorite games to play as a family. Um, it's not really a family friendly game. It turns into <laughs> fighting, but it's so much fun. If you've never played it, you should try it. Okay, back to the living room. We went through the storage. This is our couch. Wonderful pillow that Mason and Kaylee gave us for Christmas. I love it. This is us when we were just leaving. Mason and Kaylee. The pumpkin patch. This is when we are in Colorado at the sand dunes. We got to go back there. So yeah, we love it. This is messy in here, but the the concept behind it is everything we've looked at, except for those dual slide bunk houses in the back, mm -hmm. don't have a lot of storage for kids' clothes. Right. So this, we thought, hey, instead of putting food or whatever else in here, we can use it for. It's close. Animal stuff down here. Well, has got a bin with her stuff, snacks, and cat's got like their extra toys and whatnot. Maddie already added her own. She put her own sign on when she was staying there. Maddie's room, do not enter. We are in the back bunk room. Um, this ain't the biggest room. Um, they do have a couch that pulls out, or they can sit in here, watch some TV. So this bunk is nice because it has the hydraulic lift system whatever you want to call it. Arms. Arms. <laughs> yeah, it's quite and, quite easy to bring down. Yep, and it comes with a ladder, but we put the ladder away. Um, right now it's used, we put their blankets and whatever else up here in the daytime so they can, you can easily store it away and they can use the couch. I hung a rack and then this is their bathroom slash litter box. They do have their own little sink, which is really nice. They got their own little cabinet for their stuff. There is nothing down here, it's just that storage underneath that we showed you outside. Um, and then, um, can you, you can open that up. <laughs> We're trying to fit through together. <laughs> and here is Maddie's storage area. We gave her this one because she's got a lot of clothes. Like a typical girl likes her clothes. Yep, and we hung up some cute little butterflies, just for fun. Down here, we're just storing like cleaning and garbage bags for the cat litter, TP, stuff like that. So that's the back two thirds of the trailer. Let's head towards the front to show you the master bathroom and the master bedroom. Yep. This is the entryway, we come through here. Um, door to our room, this is the bathroom. So we love this bathroom because it's a walkthrough that'll lead into the bedroom, but it, you even have more space. I think Blake struggled with the toilet in the toy hauler because he would hit the wall 
hit his arm on the cupboard that was, you know, right next to the toilet. Just a lot better layout for a bathroom, I feel. We have that radius, what's it called? Radius shower. Yeah, the radius shower. See, and, and living in such a tiny space, we could take a picture of this bathroom and show you it all picked up. Yeah. Well, where are you gonna put your dirty laundry? Yep. You know, it's gonna be sitting in the other room just outside the picture. Yep. Because it's very difficult with four people to live in a tiny spot. Right, so most people that know, that live in RVs know you pretty much combine your room. So this is our bathroom versus laundry room. So we store our dirty laundry in the shower when where no one's in the shower. And then when someone takes a shower, we just move it out into the bedroom. Yep. And then put it back in the room. It's all like we said, utilizing space for two or three reasons and utilizing everything that you have in here for two or three purposes. Um, we have a nice medicine cabinet. Blake's mine and then just kind of miscellaneous stuff. And this is even all the stuff that we have. We have crap ton more. And you almost said the S word. <laughs> I'm working on this stuff eventually. This is. I'm just storing a bunch of our laundry, um, first aid, shaving here, stuff right here. I guess it's a bunch of random stuff. We're trying to figure out where we need to put it in the bathroom because this is all we have for bathroom storage as of right now. Turkish to towels, Blake mentioned. I think we might eventually just go to all these because they just, they're so much nicer than these big cotton towels. We do have a sliding door here. Uh-oh, there's a cat. Okay, so our room window. is super messy right now because we've been trying to go through our clothes and everything and whatnot, but we've been really busy. So I apologize for the mess, but like we said, we're trying to show you as is living, you know, La Vida type of life. Um, so here's our, <laughs> here is our clothing storage in here. Um, we got Blake's mine and we're sharing the bottom. And then we also have the hanging storage. It's full. We've eliminated a lot, but... Still have to eliminate more. <laughs> this is Blake's extremely messy side. He's not going to organize, but... Well, I am, but then it keeps on getting, you know, I get move stuff around and... Yeah. Still trying to figure out what works. So I can't really show you what's in here. He does have like a little... He does have like a little cubby. He keeps his manly stuff down there as well as storage above. He keeps his sweatshirts. We have our emergency binder with all of our important paperwork up there. He sleeps on this side. We really like this front window. At night, it's nice to have some natural lighting. And the cats absolutely love to sit up there all day long. Oh, here's Sissy. So, Here's our little walkway. Walk through. We got a nice day night shade here, window. They didn't have this screen when we picked up this trailer, so we're still waiting for our screen to come. Um, but it will be nice when we finally get to open it because it does get really hot in here. We do have under storage here. Sorry, sissy. We just got a little bit of storage under here as well as three drawers. Um, we don't have everything in here yet, but that's all the storage we have for under our bed. So that was our messy RV tour, but it's real RV living. As we get things organized, we'll show you room by room. Um, we hope you enjoyed the long video. Sorry it was long, but you know, it's nice to see everybody, everybody's RV and how they live, so. We love this model. Maybe when the kids are grown, we'll have it all to ourselves. But right now we are loving the layout. Um, it does get cramped. As with any RV, you're gonna get cramped no matter what, so. This was the best layout that we could find. With the concept of getting smaller. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our RV tour and stay tuned for our next video.